Double Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed, baby. Now, heavyweight, heavyweight news, you know, going on right now. Now, some things, I'm going to put two of them in one. One is, you got uh, your boy, Derek Chisura, and it was supposed to be fighting Joseph Parker, right? October 26th. Joseph Parker pulled out spider bite, and we look for the next, next opponent. It's been taking a while, but now David Price has stepped in. Big old David Price, you know, stepped in, and so it's going to be David Price and Derek Chisura. Well, it's a good British dust-up, right? Now, they're lucky they're on pay-per-view. They're on pay-per-view because the mother dudes, Josh Taylor and your boy, uh, Regis Free Progress, they're going to be fighting. It shouldn't be a pay-per-view fight with uh, David Price and Derek Chisura, right? But they're not by themselves, so they're going to slip on and be on that sky box office thing going on. Okay, cool. Because that's a lot of losses in there. I don't know. I, I, I didn't look at everybody's record, but I, I know that Chisura got nine of them, and, and Price got about five or six of them. So, you know, your double-digit losses between these guys should not be pay-per-view. But you're looking at England. David Price has a little resurgence. Plus, David Price has lost a lot of fights. But let's make sure he was beat by a few Dope Street boys. And Pavekin is a Dope Street boy. So is Temper. Right? So he's beat by those kind of guys. Those don't count to me. You know what I mean? Not really. They don't, don't, don't count. Seriously. Oh, excuse me. First loss. Tony Thompson was dope in that first fight. When he lost the first fight. Right? I don't know if Tony Thompson was doped in the second one. But he was doped in the first fight. That's three dope street boys. Well, two of them. I don't know if Tony Thompson is dope, dope street boys. Tepper and Pavekin are. But Tony Thompson is like, you know, definitely if somebody, you know, can't, can't handle their business on that night. That Tony Thompson can step in and be a dope street boy. So, David Price is, it has, is a resurgence of late. He's won a couple of fights. Looked good doing it. So like one dude bit him. When, you know, and then the next guy, he uh, got out of there. Right, so he's back, and and so is Derek Chisora. So for England, that's a, a decent dust stuff, especially when you talk about a replacement of a replacement. You know what I mean? So that's okay for England. You know that uh, that's one of the things. There's another news going on um, uh, that went on on in boxing right now. I can't really think of it. It's something else that was going on in boxing that I thought was kind of important when it was uh, when you talk about doping. Oh, here it is, Alexander Uzik. Alexander Uzik is supposed to be fighting, uh, matter of fact, this weekend against Tyrone Sponge or whatever his name, Spong. I told you the first time I was talking about it, he did not, uh, I, it was under my radar. But it's supposed to be a good kickbox. But it doesn't matter. Spong has tested positive for something. Man, it's came out, Eddie Hearn let it out, that cat out the bag. So uh, they're going to be looking for another opponent for Alexander Uzik. I don't know who it's going to be. Now, you guys do know Alexander Uzik. Is trying to move a heavyweight from cruiserweight. He was undisputed in cruiserweight. He he he's, uh, should have a lot of respect because of that. Because a lot of people don't do that. So let's see who his opponent's going to be. This doping thing in in boxing, it's running rapid. A lot of people are getting caught. You know, we're just talking about Dillian White. His B samples still not there. Three months after the fight, you know, Jarrell Miller doped all up. You know, it's just ridiculous. And uh, the the thing about it though. Is I mean, looking at all these dopers, you start having to, you know, the fighters who are not doped, guys. Why don't you start liking them, right? Just start, you know, say, hey, man, dude's never been doped, had nothing to do with dope. I'm going to like him. Start doing that. Maybe that'll help because the fighters that are dope have the most fans. Let me run them down. Who, who got more fans than Canelo? Anybody? Right? Been dope, tw you know, two times Kumbudera. Right? A lot of them. Been dope. Even the one, and some of them, you know, they were told on them, people told them, you know, therapeutic, therapeutic use exemptions. You know, we ain't gonna put no names on them, but a lot of people that can even get those. So, it's, man, it's, you know, and Pauli Malinajan told you basically it's almost stupid to not. So, those who are not doping, let's maybe wanna get behind those a little bit, right? Anyway, so let's see who Uzik's gonna fight. Right now, they're gonna have to hurry up and get an opponent, right? That's gonna be hard to figure that out, right? So uh, that's one. And let's back to the top. You got Derek Chisora versus uh, David Price. A decent fight, especially for England. So that's the two news in the heavyweights. It's kind of, you know, we're going to have to figure out what's going to happen in the, in the uh, next day or two. We'll find out what happened on that, on the, who they gonna, who's next going to fight. Some weird stuff going on. But at the end of the day, bottom line is, if you're doping, you're probably going to get caught eventually. 
But as long as they don't really do anything about it, right, it's going to continue to happen. And another thing, like I'm going to say it again, the ones that are not doping, there's so not that many of them. So maybe you want to give them a little bit more love. Feel me? Dope Sports Talk, worldwide. I'm about here, y'all.